Scorpio. It's me, it's Julia with Scorpio Squad. How you doing? I hope you're doing great. <clears throat> I don't know what's going on with my voice today, but it's fine. <laughs> anyway, sending you much love, much light. Thank you so much for all your love and support for me and the channel. If you are new, this is for Scorpio. And cross watchers, you're welcome here. And if you like my style, if you like what I'm about, then go ahead and subscribe and turn your notification bell to all. Right? So that way you'll be notified every time I upload a video. A shout out to Patricia, Donnell, Mahira, Tonya, Tyranny, and Chantel for booking a live reading with my psychics and tarot card readers. You can do the same. You can call up as much as you want um, in the month of September and say Virgo season. And if you are watching me in the USA, there is a special offer. You just say Abracadabra and you get a 15 minute reading for $1 a minute. Okay, Scorpio. Everything else that you need is listed down below. Thank you so much for your love and your support. Don't forget to hit that like if you've enjoyed the video. It doesn't cost a thing, but it's really important to the channel's growth. Okay? With that being said, Scorpio, let's get started. Um, I'm going to start off with postcards from Spirit and see what Spirit's message is for you today. For Scorpio, I love you Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. One card please, your angels, one card. One card for Scorpio. They're saying this one. I don't know why. Take them out. All right, let's see what they say. Dear you, do you feel like you need to do all the work and fix everything for everyone? Or might you have no value? May you think that you need to control everything or ever. Oh, sorry. Do you need? Do you feel like you need to control everything, or else nothing will get done, be healed, be completed, etc.? You may think you need to conform to what others expect of you, or choose a course of action to manipulate an outcome. But we don't think that would be a good choice. How about this? Even if it makes you temporarily uncomfortable, do something different. Set that boundary. Delegate responsibility to another. Ask for your needs to be met. And then when faced with an impossible situation or a sticky and mesh relationship, repeat this mantra. I didn't cause it, I can't control it, and it isn't my job to cure it. Then carry on. Feels good, doesn't it? The best part is every the best part is everything. Just seems to work beautifully and honestly in the end. Love you so much. So it seems like some of you are taking on too much. You need to say no. You need to delegate the responsibilities to somebody else. Yeah, and if you're dealing with a relationship that's not good or toxic and, then, you know, an ex coming back to you, having problems or whatever, you need to tell this person, you know what, this is not my problem. I didn't do it. It's, you know, I didn't cause it. You, you need to fix it, right? I've got enough stuff i got to do. All right, let's go to the Whispers of Love. Those three wanted to turn out. For Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the sign of Scorpio. What do we have? What do we have for Scorpio? Okay. From the Whispers of Love, we have Slow Down. Huh. So, pause and let all things unfold. Naturally, right? You may be doing too much and things just need to happen when they need to happen when it comes to your love life. Okay? You don't have to control the outcome. Um, if it's meant to be, it's meant to be. But just pause and allow things to unfold, it's saying. Okay? Express love through gifts. A small token of love. Comes with great appreciation. So that doesn't have to be a tangible gift, right? It could even just be a message. Or tell somebody that you love them. Or whatever. It can make a huge difference, right? For somebody. So maybe somebody needs to do that with you or you need to do that with somebody. Okay? 
and try to make amends in the situation. Whatever that is that's going on between the two of you. Choose love. You always have a choice. Make yours with love. So somebody here has been a little selfish, only caring about their feelings, their needs, what's going on with them. And basically they've left somebody just hanging out there, floating around, right? Um, not letting this person know that they're loved or anything. So Spirit is saying here, love is more important than anything, right? Turn on your heart light. Some of you may have turned it off. Redirect. Here, what's it say here? Um, reflect. Set a time when you experience love. So, somebody needs to turn their heart light back on again. Okay? And allow love back in. I feel it could be that whatever you're going through, Scorpio, or somebody's going through, they've kind of shut themselves off from everything. Um, from love. Just from love, period. Spirit is saying, no, no. You turn that heart light back on, right? Appreciate this moment. Every situation has an opportunity to grow and find love. So what it sounds like to me here, Scorpio, either you did this or somebody else did this that completely just disregarded somebody that they love. And the advice is from spirit not to do that. That's not a good thing. It's just not a good thing. All right, this is a new deck. It's the fairies. I feel very soon, though, uh, Scorpio, either you or someone else will put this back on track again. It's just kind of like a stage of the two of you going through whatever you're going through. For Scorpio. For Scorpio. I love you, Scorpio. For Scorpio, please. For Scorpio. Thank you. For September the 14th, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What are the messages for Scorpio? This one turned to... They're telling me again. All right. Scorpio. Alright, let's see what these messages are. Here we go. Life energy. The happy fairy of sunshine brings lots of life giving energy. She reminds you to shine your light and to reveal anything in the shadows that needs to be healed. Okay. Uh, that could be anything. That could be your heart. That could be your health. You know, she's here. This fairy is here. The fairy of sunshine. Okay. And she may be revealing things to you that you thought you had gotten over and bringing them to light so they can finally be healed now. Scorpio. Okay? So, that's a good thing. Inspiration. Be prepared. You'll soon receive a visit from the Fairy of Inspiration. Come dusk or dawn, she'll call at any time. Alright, so it looks like things are going to be flipping around. You'll be inspired again to take action, Scorpio. It looks like you were just going through a phase of a lot of healing, transformation, right? Situations around you that needed healing. So, the Fairy of Inspiration is coming back <laughs> to get you back on track. Flourish. The Lotus Flower Fairy tells you to learn from experience and shed your inner light on any unclear areas of your life or those of others. So I feel that has to do with love here, um, Scorpio. 
Okay. You're going through healing and transformation right now. And all these fairies want to come and help you move to the next stage of your life. Okay? Letting go of past situations, things that just no longer serve you anymore. Lost and found. What was lost is about to be found thanks to the lost and found fairy. Sometimes she can help us find things we never even realized we lost. I feel it's a relationship. Somebody without saying to you may have given out Scorpio and you didn't even know it. I'm telling you, you, the two of you are coming back together again. Music, listen carefully for those, or there may be a message in the music that you hear. Music can shift your soul, rekindle memories, and charm fairies to your door. Okay? So there's going to be some piece of music, you're going to hear something in that music that's going to trigger something for you, in a good way though, when it comes to a connection or love, okay? So music, some message through music for you, Scorpio. Spirit is saying, go outside, it's time to go outside, tune into the powerful piece of nature, wherever you are, and feel one with your habitat. So maybe you've just been work and home and work and home. The Spirit is saying, no, no, go outside. Go outside. Go outside. Go connect with nature, the sea, I don't know, a river, a lake, whatever it is. Go outside into nature. Okay? It'll bring you a lot of peace and a lot of healing. Light. The Fairy Queen of Light comes to shed love and light into your current situation and to remind you that light can penetrate the darkness. So a lot of you have been in a place of fear, too, because of a particular situation that's going on in your life. This fairy is coming to drag you out of that and drag you back into the light and bring you positive energy, okay, so that you can take action, you can see clearly, right, and that you can feel better. And after that happens, we've got new beginnings. The fairy godmother heralds the joyous news of a new baby or the birth of a cherished idea. Protect and nurture your ideas as you would a baby. So, that could be for some of you. Some of you could be a new beginning in a relationship. Okay. Let's go to the enchanted map for Scorpio, for Scorpio. And those of you that are having a new baby, congratulations. All right, here we go. Movement, number 28 came out for you, Scorpio. Number 28. Movement, you are in a time of positive forward motion. This is a time for positive momentum as you come out of a period of restriction. You're in a stage of new adventure and discovery. You may feel compelled to take a trip, change your hair, or move your home or business. Regardless, you can't remain where you are anymore. You feel compelled to go forward. No matter what your inquiry, you will see your dreams take form and doors previously shut begin to open as if by magic. Movement is also a state of mind. The fog lifts, and now you know the actions you need to take. This isn't the time for fear. Let it go and move forward. Are you hearing that? A lot of you are going to be moving. Because you're realizing wherever you're at is not working for you anymore. So, it's going to be an absolute brand new beginning for you, Scorpio. For your work, for your love life, for everything. All right, for those of my Scorpios that are in the light, star seeds, healers, service to others, tarot card readers, mediums, psychics, Reiki healers, whatever, it doesn't matter. As long as you are in the light, let's see what the message is for you for today. For Scorpio, for Scorpio, what do we have for Scorpio? What do we have for Scorpio? One card, please. One card. Wow, that's 
funny. Virgo got this too today. The law of efficiency. Divine grace, the law of efficiency, number 32. Okay. Maybe a lot of you are dealing with Virgos. It is the time your life became easier. It is time for you to walk the way of divine grace with trust, simplicity, and acceptance. You do not have to try to make things happen. You can gracefully act without attachment and trust that all will be as it's meant to be. Surrender your struggles now as you allow life to serve you with love and kindness. This is the most efficient use of your energy and will lead to the best result. The law of efficiency encourages us to work smarter rather than always working harder. It is learning to allow a wave to carry you to shore rather than swimming the entire way with your own efforts alone or even against the current, which would make the journey even harder. It's like planting a seed at the right time so nature can help it bloom in the spring rather than planting it during the dead of winter when it takes a lot of effort to keep it alive and even then it may not survive. This is the intelligence of the law of efficiency and divine grace at work. To hitch your wagon to the universe in this way, you need to learn to listen. This means tuning in to what feels right or wrong at any given time. Sometimes you may want to push forward, yet your intuitive knowing will guide you to rest. Sometimes you will want to hide from a challenge, and yet knowing in your bones it's time to step up and shine with boldness, despite the fear you may feel. The universe has a real sense of natural flow, cycles and timing that assures us that it supports every dream we dare to dream and that everyone can come to fruition in due course. It may not look exactly as you expect, but if you have set it in motion with desire and intention, karmic law will ensure that it finds expression. For, uh, for this to happen in the most loving, graceful and easy way, you must learn to hear, feel and sense the currents of life and work with them rather than push against them. This is about common sense, allowing yourself to be helped, not making things more difficult for yourself than they need to be. Imagine that you have a chance to share a feeling of love in a room full of receptive people. The time is right. They are open and your efforts create the maximum effect for love's success. Or you could expand the same amount of time and energy by arguing with one disinterested person in an attempt to get them to understand and receive your love, even though they actually have no interest in doing so. They just wish to have their own point of view and for you to agree with that. One is working with the law of efficiency and the other is working against the tide of life. It is not bad to choose the harder way. Sometimes it can be a great learning experience, but you are being encouraged with this oracle to explore the easier, more graceful, way more often, especially at this time in your life, because there's a helping hand, a natural wave of energy in life that's going to be able to support your rising spirit in manifesting something truly beautiful and special in the world. The law of efficiency is also sometimes known as a path of least resistance. We must find the strength that comes from letting go and trusting that the universe knows what it's doing. It takes spiritual maturity to go to wisdom greater than your own immediate understanding. Then you are surfing the wave rather than swimming against the current. How efficient to work with life as and its cycles rather than believing you must struggle and strain to be heard, loved, rewarded, and inspired. You have that maturity within you. Trust now. Trust that all will come in time. That's a very nice message, and I feel that's exactly right. You don't have to force anybody to feel what you feel, right, or to be a certain way, or to accept what you're saying, right? You just let it go, and um, let the universe, right, take care of it on its own, right? And there's always easier ways to go about doing things, too, as well, Scorpio. So, that's what I have for you. I hope you enjoyed this. Sending you much love and many blessings. And I will see you again tomorrow. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that like. 
And I love you all. And you be safe for me out there, okay? Love and kisses, Scorpio. Bye.